Clap me any rhythm like the original Do the it's beyond anything I've ever experienced or seen. It's like a beautiful mix of really old buildings, new buildings, but all so colourful. Everything is so colourful. Bunch of artists going to Havana. I couldn't have imagined like how deeply I would have felt connected to everybody here. It's very hard to gel as artists. For us to gel the way we have is incredible. For me, I'm obsessed with what I do and I love music with everything in my soul. I live for this, everybody knows this. I think it's really important to, to give people their flowers, man. I hadn't heard Nilo. He had posted some music and I caught up on it and then I was like, oh, he's really good. God knows hit me up about two weeks after my first release and just said, really digging the music, man. Like, I'd love to work with you sometime. Like, you have an idea that you could be somewhere around the world, maybe playing gigs, but to come over to a place this beautiful and just basically hang out and soak in the culture and the, the beauty and the people and the food and just be surrounded by all that while like not being under the pressure of, of having to perform is amazing. I sat next to Nilo on a plane and we chatted for 10 hours. Like, that's not something that's like easy to do with just anyone. The people on this trip have all been really grounded in who they are as individuals. But everybody has sort of like a, a fluidity and an acceptance of difference and change that has made it really, really easy to make art together. It feels like we've, we've all known each other for way longer than we have. Like me and Denise are like, she's like my sis now. All art and all inspiration is joy. And if you can find people who connect you to a sense of joy, it also seems to connect you to a sense of purpose. That can happen in Ireland with two black women in a space that's mostly white. When you meet somebody who can understand you on that level, it does fast forward a lot of the, the work that happens in friendship. Being here in Havana together, it's acted as a catalyst for like possibly one of the deepest friendships I will have going forward. I'm going to hang on to her for as long as possible. For me, it's about every little thing. I like to see all facets of the job done. And you have to keep reinventing, because if you don't keep reinventing, something genuinely just died. Like, the most important thing that I need is to stay me. <laughs> The idea that music is a form of communication on its own is something that's been reinforced in my whole life. Music, for me, was instilled in a lot of gospel a cappella, three-part harmony. When you only have like to clap, and that's your only instrument. You find ways to weave melody around that too. As a musician who writes lyrics, melodies, and chords and rhythm, there's differences between all of those parts of writing. Uh, when you're writing lyrics, you're thinking about the people who are gonna understand the lyrics, and so you wanna say something meaningful to them. But you can get so much across without lyrics as well. That's 
one of my favorite parts of writing music is actually working on the parts that don't have words that you that you can't describe with words. So you get a feeling across with chords or a vibe across with rhythm. And to be able to just walk into a bar and start dancing with somebody who I've never met before because we both vibe off the song is like is a stunning reality. It makes me feel very lucky to be alive. I remember being in the in the pit of a gig, like a sweaty ambassador for like some metal band or some emo band or something, and looking at the stage and being like, if I could just be the bass player. So it was half like a love for music and half just to be part of something cool, you know? I never really changed what I was saying moving from hardcore punk to hip hop. I just changed the way that I said it. I got an angel on my shoulder, the devil sent the postcard. I was searching for meaning. Playing all the big festivals, selling out gigs. These are all little pats on the bum from the universe to say, follow what you want to follow because like life is short. Yesterday I walked into Murdy's room and he was showing me a few beats. I just started writing to it straight away. Denise starts writing, I start writing. It just flowed so easily. It was one of the easiest tracks I've ever written and it's so sick as well. Alright guys, that was, that was just okay. <laughs> Self-doubt is something that, like, is a constant battle, like a daily struggle. It can stop you from writing, it can stop you from releasing stuff, it can stop you from promoting stuff. Every step of the way you have to battle self-doubt. So, real change comes from within. You will not work harder for anybody else than you will for yourself, and especially if you're working for a dream that you think that you might not be able to achieve you will really craft. I've been tipping my ears in the streets. Seems like everybody's covered with apple beats. Everybody sounds like whiskey, not this kid with a whiskey for a chop biscuit. Cause I knew and seen one every weekend. Don't know me, she's at me. You're in my cousins from Africa when they were Tommy. Call me Russell, got a family order. My family does this thing like the Wayne to the Marlies. And I rap for my country. Misha era, Misha era, new era. I'm not talking about a slap, I'm way too clever. If I gotta be someone, gotta be the Irish mega. If I gotta be someone, gotta be the Irish fella. Or with your fella, but I'm talking about my legacy. You never see another man who carries my energy. Never. Ever. I like your mixtape cover, but I'm not feeling your mixtape cover. I like your mixtape cover, but I'm not feeling your mixtape cover. I like your mixtape cover, but I'm not feeling your mixtape cover. I like your mixtape cover, but I'm not feeling your mixtape cover. Loud and loud.